Ya Allah, we came here, we are healthy, Ya Allah. There are millions who are on hospital beds, Ya Allah, taking food through a pipe, Ya Allah. We are not taking that for granted, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we have had a cup of tea. There are others who have not had a decent meal for many days, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we are grateful for this bounty. Walk out of your While the teacher service commission choir kindly take the message. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Allow me, ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture to invite uh, Mr. Humphrey Mokaya, who is the director of Kenya School of Government, on behalf of the DG, to officially welcome us to this institution. Shall we appreciate Mr. Humphrey Mokaya? Thank you very much, uh, Mr. MC. The Chief Administrative Secretary, Ministry of Education, Professor Coletta Suda, the Chairperson TSC, Dr. Lydia Zomo, Commissioners of the TSC present, TSC staff, distinguished uh, teachers of this great country, senior government officials, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Director General, Professor Ludeki Chweya, let me take this opportunity to welcome you most, well, most warmly to the school. It is a great honor for the school to host the first ever teachers conference and we indeed are very, very delighted. We note 
that this is very aptly themed, the teacher as a resource, indeed a resource in national development from the formative stages of a child into adulthood. Congratulations. We hope that this will be an annual event and wish you a resourceful and enriching two days here at the school. Karibu sana and have a blessed day. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all uh, to this first ever teachers conference. Thank you for honoring our invitation by attending. For, though, for our guests who have traveled from outside Kenya, feel welcome. I hope you have had time to rest. I am sure you have all realized by now how Kenyans are warm-hearted and wel welcoming. Karibuni, Kenya, welcome to Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today as stakeholders in education and teaching fraternity so that we can share teaching experiences, learn from our successes, and propose measures for addressing identified teaching challenges. During this conference, participants will be expected to identify and harness existing opportunities that will improve the teaching service and learning outcomes. As such, TSC is enthusiastic about professional collaboration with educators and teacher management agencies in Africa and the rest of the world. We cooperate with our, when we cooperate with our stakeholders, we stand to learn and adopt the best practices that can improve the quality of teaching and learning. Ladies and gentlemen, the two days conference will address, will, will have addresses from keynote speakers from different parts of Africa and from our, our great scholars in our institutions, that's the universities. There will also be discussions of the sub themes and presentation of papers, all touching on topical areas of the conference. This is so because the commission prides itself in the work that these teachers do and we, and we would therefore like their successes shared for the mutual benefit of the teaching fraternity. I wish all participants well as they go through the rest of the conference and during their stay in the country. Once again, welcome, Karibuni. It is now, it is now my duty and privilege to welcome the TSC Chief Executive and Secretary Dr. Nancy Macharia to set the pace for this conference with her keynote presentation on trends and emerging issues in teacher management. Dr. Nancy Macharia, please. Uh, our chief guest, uh, Professor Suda, who is our Chief Administrative Secretary the TSC uh, Chairperson, Dr. Lydia Nzomo, Chairpersons and Chief Executive Officers of Constitutional Commissions and Independent Offices, TSC Commissioners, uh, AFTRA Executive Director, uh, Dr. Uh, Steve, who has come all the way from Nigeria, uh, Professor Mugenda, uh, TSC Administry of Education uh, Officers, our Director General uh, in the Ministry of Education, our development uh, partners and sponsors. Today we're not talking much. Today we want to hear the voice of the teacher. But let me uh, start once again by joining my colleague, Mr. Mumin, uh, in welcoming you to this first teachers conference. And thank you for making time for the precious opportunity to share uh, ideas and experiences on one of the most valuable, uh, one of the most valuable uh, person in the country, and that is the teacher. Although the teachers' conference is, is an idea which should have come several years earlier, I am nevertheless happy that it has finally been realized. Remember, it has always been said that no system, no education system in the world will surpass the quality of its teachers. It is also gratifying uh, to note 
that there has been a lot of enthusiasm from the time we called for papers from teachers, researchers, academics, and other stakeholders in the teacher management and the education sector in general. In spite of the short notice, uh, many, uh, many educators, including teachers, academicians, and researchers, showed a lot of interest. It is for this reason that I believe that our first teachers conference will provide us with opportunities to learn from our teachers, researchers, and academicians. Remember, TSC has always talked about teacher management. I think it is time we are given feedback on our performance and on the teachers that we manage. And also, let us hear from the teachers themselves what they think about teaching and about us. It is also an opportunity, an opportune time to explore new trends, emerging knowledge, and challenges in teacher management. Uh, both the Presidential Working Party, the McKay Report, and the Presidential Working Party on Education and Manpower Training for the next decade and beyond, the Kamuge Report underscored the need uh, to intensify pre-service uh, and in-service training uh, of teachers. It is at the, at the time, uh, it is at the time that more than one third of primary school teachers uh, were untrained at that time. In 1999, we had the COH report, uh, which focused on professionalization of the teaching service by strengthening entry grades to teacher training programs and continuous professional training to improve pedagogical skills for teachers. It recommended that management of training for heads of institution be strengthened to enable them to front, uh, to be frontline quality control managers in their own schools. The report on uh, the review and harmonization of the legal framework governing education, training, and research further recommended strengthening of the teaching profession through review of service regulations and codes of conduct. When uh, TSC was established uh, in 1967, it was mandated to carry out basic routine teacher management functions of recruitment, transfer, promotion, discipline, and remuneration. This is, uh, was, uh, is contained in the Repeal Teacher Service Commission Act, CAP 212. The importance and centrality of the teaching service was underlined when the TSC was reenacted at Article 237 of the Constitution. The, tradition and the traditional and routine functions of the Commission provided for under Article 237.2, that is registration, recruitment, assignment, promotion, disciplinary control, and termination of teachers. As a result, uh, counties in difficult to reach regions and those with high attrition numbers were allocated more teachers. This is one of the major accomplishments in optimal utilization of teachers because no teacher is recruited at, uh, to an institution or area where his or her services are not required. To date, this policy uh, remains one of the most progressive measures to achieve equity in teacher distribution. The strategy of getting teachers where they are most needed ensures that learners across the country benefit from instruction by some of the best teachers that all uh, children have a chance to, uh, that, uh, and that all children have a chance to leave school having learned the basics. The demand-driven policy was strengthened by a requirement for newly recruited teachers to serve in their initial stations for at least five years before qualifying for transfer. This has greatly curbed high teacher turnover in difficult to staff regions. Besides creating stability in schools, the demand-driven approach of the five-year uh, service, year service requirement before transfer has reduced inequality in teacher distribution. But as we move on, we have to change, and uh, even as uh, we come to the new CBC, we have to have a new approach uh, to staffing, and this is the case for the new staffing norm. 
Inevitably, the improved transition from primary level to secondary subsector and the implementation of the competence-based curriculum uh, calls for a review of our approach uh, to serving of schools. The new curriculum seeks to harness uh, talents in individual learners. As a result, the proposed curriculum is re uh, remarkably broad in lower secondary. Due to the facilitative and inquiry methodology in the teaching and learning process and the broad-based curriculum to accommodate various abilities in learners, more teachers will be required. Equally important, teacher training institutions will be required to align their programs to the requirements of the curriculum. This is especially the case in lower secondary and senior school. In order to respond adequately to the anticipated new staffing needs, the Commission has initiated a study to develop new staffing norms for basic education institutions, secondary schools, teacher training colleges, and technical training institutions. The new staffing norms will guide the TSC in making des uh, decisions on distribution, deployment, assignment, recruitment of teachers. This will ultimately lead to optimal utilization of the teaching resource as we move forward. And so as I come uh, to the conclusion, uh, I wish to note that to effectively equip learners with the skills of the 21st century, the need to improve pedagogy through innovation and technology cannot be overemphasized. Moreover, we must also accept that it is inevitable to leverage on information communication strat uh, and communica uh, communication technology, that is ICT, for effective delivery of our lessons and also mitigate uh, teacher shortage. So thank you for listening to me. I was just setting the pace. I know other speakers and especially my chair will come and tell us more about this conference. Once more, I thank you for attending. I thank uh, our sponsors once more. And let me now take this uh, opportunity to humbly welcome my chairperson, Dr. Lydia Nzomo, to give the keynote address. Thank you very much. I think uh, the CEO will deserve a better clap. Can we clap uh, for her, please? So this is an attempt from the commission to promote public participation so that we get ideas from the public on really what is expected of the 21st century of a teacher who is an important resource as far as education is concerned. Therefore, during the conference, as a commission, we will do more listening than talking so that uh, we can get ideas from the conference that are going to make us manage uh, the teacher resource better. But as a country, we cannot claim that we have achieved or got everything done the way it should be done to support the teacher. Indeed, it's necessary that the teachers are continuously uh, supported and as a commission, we continue improving and coming up with innovative ways of supporting our teachers. This is because we know the importance of the teachers. As a resource, therefore, ladies and gentlemen, we need just to look at what it is that we are thinking about. What is a resource? A resource is anything which can be used to achieve the goals and objectives of an organization. Teaching and learning resources constitute all those human and uh, material inputs used directly or indirectly for the purpose of educational training to facilitate or encourage the acquisition of knowledge, competence, skills, attitudes, and habits. Technology has been mentioned, and I want just to emphasize that globalization and technology has tremendously increased the speed of change in the world today. In the next few years, 
we are likely to experience unprecedented changes in the way teaching and learning will happen. Classrooms may be less important with more students around the world attending the same class at the same time in different locations. The Commission is enthusiastic about professional collaboration among educators in Africa and the rest of the world. Indeed, we intend to make this conference, as has been mentioned, an annual activity. I urge all participants, whether corporate or private, to adapt the resolutions that to emerge out of this conference when we go back to our institutions. Finally, I encourage all the delegates to participate actively in the interesting discussions over the next two days. I wish you well as you go through the conference and our international guest, I wish you a very pleasant stay in Kenya. Once again, welcome all and have a very successful and fruitful teachers conference. Thank you. Yeah, I'm being reminded that um, apart from the remarks, I've got another humble assignment. And this time, I take the opportunity to invite uh, our chief guest, uh, Professor Sunda, uh, so that uh, she can uh, open this conference for us and uh, we will feel comfortable as we proceed. Can we please uh, welcome her with a continuous uh, clap? Karibu. Prof. I'm very pleased to be here with you today at this first teachers conference in Kenya. I wish to appreciate the Teacher Service Commission for organizing this first ever teachers conference. Pongesi Sana. The conference presents an opportunity to reflect on what the nation can learn from teachers and educators as they share the experiences on how to transform teaching and learning. Globally, education is recognized as a game changer and drives socioeconomic development in this country. In Kenya, education is looked upon to propel the country into knowledge-based economy as envisioned in the Vision 2030. In view of this, the ministry undertook to reform the education sector through review of the curriculum from the 844 to the competency-based curriculum. The CBC has changed the focus of teaching and learning from results-based to the development of learner skills. This CBC is designed to enable learners realize their full potential and ultimately provide the skilled manpower that the country requires. Successful implementation of the curriculum will heavily depend on continuous professional development of the implementers, mainly the teachers. One of the flagship projects of the Vision 2030, second medium term plan period, which runs from 2013 to 2017, was re-engineering science, technology, engineering, mathematics, STEM education to provide experiential learning, innovation, creativity, and attraction to STEM-related disciplines. STEM education goes beyond the mere transfer of knowledge and equips students with critical thinking, problem solving, creative, and collaborative skills. I challenge teachers to support their efforts to promote STEM subjects in all schools. The government recognizes collaboration and partnerships as critical in its development agenda. Partners such as the Global Partnership of Education 
has supported Kenya's impressive progress in getting all children into school and learning. That progress, in turn, has advanced the country's overall economic and social development. The Ministry of Education has also benefited from the support of the World Bank on various programs aimed at strengthening the teaching and learning of literacy and numeracy that are critical in laying good foundation in the academic life of a student. One such program is Tusome, which translates in Kiswahili, let's read, a program that is focused on improving the literacy outcomes of 7.4 million pupils by this year. teacher educator, that is a person that is entrusted with the responsibility of training teachers in our teacher training colleges. Uh, we have a problem in that all the trainers in colleges who are trained to teach students at high school level. And we don't understand that the methodology of uh, doing that, uh, I mean training teachers, differs from what we are supposed to get at high school, uh, uh, do at high school level. Uh, is there therefore any plan that uh, we look at it again, the way, I mean, the people who are supposed to train our teachers, how are, are they also prepared to handle the same task? Thank you. We have no models depending with those gaps we are able to see. We are also able to study the, the reports from the Kenya National Examination Council, although we are not just looking for grades, but those are also areas with serious students are not doing very well, and then we we therefore we, we produce based on but that. There is an emerging trend that is, uh, that is in our country today, particularly affecting the youth. Um, we have witnessed so many suicides, which is really worrying, because very young children, 15 years or even below, committing suicide. I don't know what probably we can do in terms of prepar teacher preparation uh, to be able to address this emerging challenge so that we are not just inculcating knowledge, but we are looking at how, how can we be able to look at this as a, an emerging issue in teacher preparation and training. I wanted to share with you and uh, ask a question from the, from the crowd. We are talking about teacher employment. My question was, is there any impact on the teacher employment after, this, after the training the teacher takes 10 years in the field? And then the same, year, the, same, the same teacher is not practicing, then we bring him on the, on the floor to begin practicing as a teacher, there's no mentoring of the same teacher. Maybe the teacher was a businessman or a businesswoman somewhere else where this teacher was earning on a daily basis. As this teacher gets to the ground as a, as a teacher, he has to, he or she has to wait for the end month. These are the teachers that are likely to move out of school when they are broke, to begin looking for a peanut somewhere, because that is the life that they were used to. Thank you. That's now, on the, to the on the on the on the uh, friendly friendliness of the environment, from the speakers, I would want to say that uh, when the teacher is quality, the same same teacher can transform any environment and make it quality also. So the environment may not be such a big, a, a big issue when the teacher is quality. We have known of teachers performing miracles when children are sitting on, on stones. And teachers cannot perform in another place where, the tea, where, where every child has a chair and a, and a, and a, and a, and a desk. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I think of a years and now we are teaching deficits. Uh, I would want to join the other speakers who have noted that the quality of education of any country is as good as its teachers. My focus is purely on the teacher training in this country. And um, we are saying everybody should embrace technology, ICT. But if you come back to the teacher training quality, of course, the emphasis of calling teacher education colleges is also good enough. 
But if you get to the teacher training qualities, you'll find that the teacher will be a training today for the Kenyan child. I don't think we have adequate resources to prepare that teacher to fit in the 21st century. We lack computers, the infrastructure is so worn out. I want to say that we still lacking. So we are lacking in the training aspect. Since you started a long time ago, that kind of training and the training that we have, what are the similarities and differences? Probably can you take us through that. That's the area maybe we have not done very well. That's uh, how we keep on telling universities the type of teachers that they are bringing. Because right now, the teachers that are coming in the field, they have no confidence, particularly in practicals. And that's why people keep on telling us why we're not doing well in mathematics and science. Thank you, thank you very much. Mr. Kirinya, please thank our panelists before they leave. Right? Reward them with a good, good, good. We received uh, Director Ruben will, will, will testify. We received 260 uh, presentations, and out of that, we had to take a smaller number so that uh, uh, what can fit in today and tomorrow. Uh, the presentations were educative. We will process the key issues that are discussed in all these presentations. Quite a, quite a number of them had recommendations. And these recommendations will be carried forward. We will publish a journal where all these uh, presentations will appear and uh, give a way forward on a number of the issues that were raised in today's plenary. Otherwise, I want to thank you very much. I want to call one of the chairperson to wind up with a word of prayer and believe that tomorrow, God willing, we shall be here at 8 on the dot. Thank you very much. Let us pray for the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We want to thank you, we honor you, and we praise your name. We pray that you protect and guide us. In Jesus' name we pray and trust. And now by the powers given to me, I want to declare this congregation dissolved. <laughs>
we are saying again. May you lift your name always, wherever we, we will be. Father, we pray that you stand the day with us and end it with us. And we commit all our plans unto them in thy hands, because we are the other and things of our names. In and trusting in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. To welcome to the Romney County. We should have been done yesterday, but the protocols yesterday did not allow for that. But feel most welcome to Nairobi County. As a county, our nearest school around is the uh, Lower Cabete Primary School. We also have Farasile Secondary School and Farasile uh, Primary School. As a county, we are performing the related functions of the Commission, and our vision is to ensure that we enhance efficiency within the county through the decentralized functions so that we serve our teachers better and ensure that we perform better and increase the contact hours with the learners. So maybe before we start singing, I would like to say we are not beacon of hope. We are beacon teachers. Yes. Point of reference uh, for the teachers in terms of child protection. So when you sing this song, you touch the parts. parts. And as you teach the children, it's important that they know their private parts because when they go to the court and they can't say what actually happened to them, cases are lost. So let's go. Okay. by receiving the quality education and by training and by experience. In addition, TSC will look into its resources to support more teachers to attend the conference in Ghana. And I, I, our director of finance is here. I hope he has heard that because we can't be sponsored by AFTRA. That the TSC does not even sponsor one of his teachers to Ghana, so we shall be uh, collaborating on that. Ladies and gentlemen, you agree with me that uh, we couldn't have got a better person to close the conference for us? <laughs> Imagine she was not with us from yesterday, and she has captured all that we have been discussing and gone even beyond. Thank you very much, Pro. And uh, now um, I will request uh, Kirinya uh, to help us appreciate uh, the uh, Prof. And uh, after that, I think after that, um, this is the end now of my era of uh, Terra, I'm handing over to the MC, who will give us a bit of uh, humor as we end this one. Thank you.
Hiyo ni kimeru, kitharaka <laughs> na kimbere. <laughs> na kikenya. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to believe that we have had a wonderful time. We've enjoyed the conference and all the deliberations. Allow me to now invite Commissioner Kinoti Manyara to do a vote of thanks. After which then I will be inviting the TSC Director Moranga County to do a closing prayer. After which I will do some a few announcements, housekeeping before we leave. Commissioner Kinoti Imanyara. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I was just uh, consulting because I've seen our choir ready to present, but I've been properly advised. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of this wonderful conference. And mine is to pass a vote of thanks. And I'll do exactly that. I want first and foremost to start by thanking God for giving us grace and blessings and safety and the grace of life to be here, to be able to share and to enjoy all that which has happened in this conference. We thank God for that. For that. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, I want to sincerely thank the chairperson of the Teacher Service Commission and our commissioners for the guidance that they have given in prepar preparation and execution of all that which has taken place during these two days of this conference. I can't fail to thank the CS or the CEO of the Teacher Service Commission for the stewardship because the board just makes decisions and the execution goes to the CEO and her team. And I want to thank the CEO and the team that she has worked with, all of them, to make this wonderful conference a success. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just heard from the senior citizen who was here to close this conference for us, Professor Enda Gashukia. And I want to take this opportunity to, to sincerely thank her for and on behalf of the commission for honoring us with our presence and our wise words that she has told us. And especially, I will not forget about that letter that she has read here for us, written by a former president in a very humble way to a teacher to take care and what he is requesting. Please do one, two, three, four, my son, the president of the, great, the greatest nation on earth, United States of America had faith in the teacher. Faith in the teacher. Thank you very much, Professor, for bringing, for telling us that the entire world has faith in teachers. I also want to thank Professor Steve, who is the executive director of AFTRA, for having honored us with your presence, for having come and shared us your experiences on teachers, and for accepting to support and sponsor our best, our best teachers, three of them, to Ghana. We thank 
you very much for us, and we want to promise you that we shall remain an active member of AFTRA. Thank you, thank you very much, Professor. I also want to thank, in absentia, Professor Suda, who was our guest of honor yesterday, and our wonderful, uh, 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 wonderful uh, notes and wonderful advice that she gave us. I want also to s and, uh, seriously thank Professor Orev Mogenda, Professor Michael of Ezami, and all the other keynote and dress persons who came here to give us their keynote address on matters of the professionalizing the teacher and teacher as a resource person of the 21st century. Ladies and gentlemen, I will not forget to thank the Kenya School of Government, Management and Administration for having played a great role as a wonderful host. You have hosted us and we have had a good time. Thank you very much. Be assured that we shall come back again. The moderators and the discussants, we thank you. We thank you. The champion, our champion teachers and the beacon teachers, thank you very much. May you be abundantly blessed because what you are doing, you are touching many young boys and girls of this country. You are touching their lives and you'll make a difference in them. I want to thank the TSC staff both senior and all the others, either at the end quarters or in the field, for one having attended this conference and having been involved in the management and the running and ensuring that this is a success. I will not forget to thank the Ministry of Education officials who have been involved and who came here to be with us and to share with us. Delegates and paper presenters, ladies and gentlemen, please feel that we recognize and honor you and we appreciate you. I will not, or finally, let me thank the organizing team for you have done a good job. And because we have been told we are going to have other conferences, please, we'll bank on you, but you have done a wonderful job and receive our thanks. Thank you very much, and may God bless you all. And may all those with the same opinion as those of Kinoti Manyara say, I, Aye. their eyes have it. Now with the powers given to me by the organizing committee, I now want to declare this congregation adjourned. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let us all assemble at the Bombers of Kenya. Enjoy your evening. Thank you very much for being with us. We want to be so grateful that you came. Thank you very much for the
Ladies and gentlemen, we want to begin to award the innovative feature of the year 2018 and we want to begin with Maxwell. Let's give a clap. Let's give them a, a mighty clap. Mighty clap, a mighty clap. Let's give them a clap. Then our winner, James Okoya Okoeno. James Okoya, the beautiful of the year, position one. So beautiful of the year.
Wakesho, 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 Wakes